Rock, the Arab Resource and Organizing Center. We are also a member of Bay Resistance. I am a San Francisco-born Palestinian. Thank you for being here tonight. We organize against repression, war, and racism here and in our homelands. In 2014, we led the effort to block Israeli ships from docking at the port of Oakland. Ships bringing in weapons to local law enforcement from the racist state of Israel. Ships helping Israel profit off, ships helping Israel profit off the occupation of Palestine. We organized Block the Boat, and we won. Since 2014, Israeli ships still have not docked at Oakland. In 2015, we organized to bring Arabic language to San Francisco Unified School District, and we won. We have also been active against the militarization of local law enforcement, siding with other targeted communities of color in our coalition to stop Urban Shield making dents in the effort to stop the largest militarization training in the world happening here in the Bay Area. And two days ago, and two days ago, along with the National Lawyers Guild, Asian Law Caucus, and CARE, we were able to end San Francisco's relationship with the Joint Terrorism Task Force, making sure that local police do not share information about us with FBI. All the while, we provide legal, free legal services to Arab and Muslim immigrants here in the Bay Area, ensuring that our people are secure and empowered to fight back. And even before the Trump administration, our communities have been surveillance, targeted, and even scapegoated by states, both here in the Bay Area and in our respective homelands. We cannot say... We cannot say that we support our immigrant communities here without recognizing the terror and destruction that our government has been responsible for in our homelands for decades. We cannot say, we cannot say we support a sanctuary city when immigrants and other communities of color living in San Francisco can barely afford to live here due to violent gentrification in the first place. We cannot we cannot decouple our domestic policy from our foreign policy. Our, will, our wealth is built off of the deaths of communities glo globally and the labor of communities of color locally. And coming into this new administration, we must look at the current moment and understand our current relationship to the state. We oppose displacement in all shapes and forms. Our communities fight for self-determination. And in this past week, we actualized it. How many of you were at San Francisco International Airport? Make some noise. Last week, last week, thousands of people joined alongside the leadership of AROC, ASATA, and other grassroots organizations to shut down SFO. We showed up to resist the Trump regime's racist exclu executive order repressing the ability of our families and friends from Syria, Iran, Sudan, Libya, Somalia, Yemen, and Iraq to travel freely. We took, we took direct action to prohibit all business as usual at SFO until all immigrant people being forcibly detained by U.S. Yeah. Customs and Border Protection at the airport were free. And you know what? We won! Yeah. All of those, all of those detained under the executive order were released on Sunday. This was made possible due to every individual who was able to make it. Every lawyer, every family member, every organization, every worker, and all of you who were there. Thank you. Yeah. At SFO, SFO, we shouted, from Palestine to Mexico, all the walls have got to go, because we understand the links between international and local law enforcement. Trump has claimed that Israel, a colonial state that has upheld racist and exclusionary legal systems against Arabs and Muslims for years, should be the model for implementing similar policies as well as the wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Companies like Elbit, Companies like Elbit are already working on border enforcement both in Palestine and Mexico. 
the surveillance tools used against Black Lives Matter organizers and crowd control technology that has been used against Standing Rock water protectors are developed and tested in Palestine against Palestinians fighting colonial oppression. We understand we understand that Trump's attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. Yeah! It is no coincidence that Trump's first executive order targeted the indigenous people of this land at Standing Rock. His next order targeted Chicanas and Latinas. Then he made his move against Arabs and Muslims and other immigrant communities. This recent attack on our immigrant communities is an extension on the ongoing attacks on indigenous, black, and brown people in this country and consistent with the history of U.S. wars and repression. Yes. We cannot separate these policies. We cannot separate the grave impacts of the Trump administration's policies here in the U.S. from how they impact people globally. We cannot defend Arabs and Muslims here while turning a blind eye to how the Trump administration has emboldened the long-standing U.S. commitment to waging war on Arabs and Muslims everywhere. We need to take the opportunity available to us to understand these connections and to have awareness that compel us to action. The fight is not over. We demonstrated we can rely on each other, protect, defend and one, each, one, uh, one, uh, one another over the last week. Community strength, resistance and self-determination is more important than ever. Our win for the detained families can be a taste of further victories to come. If we commit ourselves to thinking, strategies and actions to build our collective self-defense against policing, deportation, imprisonment and war. So join us on the text alerts for Bay Resistance for updates on when we need to show up and mobilize for one another. For so sign up for Bay Resistance. It's a mass network. Many of us were mobilized through this. Take out your cell phone and text RESIST, R-E-S-I-S-T, to 41411. Again, text RESIST to 41411. Bay Area Resistance is a network of over 50 community-based and um, uh, local unions that have come together to act in response to ICE, ICE, um, ICE raids, Muslim registries, as well as cuts to our health care. I also want to urge all of you who live in the Bay Area to join an organization. We live here in the Bay where we are blessed to have so many people fighting for our rights and advocating for our immigrant and other targeted communities. Join an organization, get active. You can get active in many different ways. It is not enough to say that you're against the Muslim ban or registry or that you're against police killings or that you do not want to prioritize militarizations when you allow these types of programs to continue. These programs are based on the same racist and violent mentalities. The rest of the nation is looking at us, Bay Area. We are leading the resistance all over and inspiring movement nationally. We must resist the normalization of fascism and start normalizing resistance. We say no to racism, no to sexism, no to homophobia, no to transphobia, no to fascism, no to Zionism, no to war, no to bans, no to the wall. The only wall that we need is a wall of resistance. Yeah.